It's my pleasure to be in Dr. Mac London. Um, thank you, Ricardo, for having me today. Thank you, GM. Uh, we are going to talk about type and uh, the updates of Rock 10 Fawn having a tour around Dr. Mac office and also um, have a peep into the process of font creation. Uh, we have four different styles within the Rakuten font family. Um, can you tell us more about Rakuten Sans? The Sans style is uh, it's really at the core of the whole type system in that uh, um, it provides a direct link with the Rakuten logo and therefore uh, it goes in continuity with the established brand of, of Rakuten. Uh, and again, at the same time, it provides the foundation, like you mentioned, for the other three styles, the serif, the condensed, and the rounded. Now, if we look at the sans specifically, it has uh, a certain uh, neutrality to it that is necessary when you speak to a large audience like that of uh, Rakuten. You need a versatile typeface. Um, at the same time, you need to have some personality running through that really embodies the spirit of Rakuten and it looks and feels Rakuten. What we have done, uh, therefore, is working on the elements that distinguish the uh, logo, meaning the geometric nature of letter forms, the large excite, the low contrast between thick and thin strokes, um, but we have developed a fully bespoke original sans serif typeface that uh, is suitable for different uh, uh, environments, all the way from branding uh, to the UI uh, setting. One thing that is really fundamental, in my opinion, to define the personality of the Rakuten Sans typeface is uh, the treatment of the terminals of the round strokes that are found in letters such as S, uh, and E and T, where we have a slight flaring of the terminal and a cut at an acute angle, which results in a pointy uh, vertex towards the inner uh, part of the curve or the, or the counter. Uh, and that conveys, uh, first of all, a sense of uh, distinction. It looks different from uh, other typefaces out there. And at the same time, it also conveys a sense of uh, sharpness that results in a, a crispy texture when you look at the type in, uh, in context. Uh, and this is something that you find through different uh, letters. If you look at the uppercase M as well, with that pointy vertex uh, at the bottom. Um, and it is a nice connection as well with the logo itself, where the uh, Rakuten lettering is uh, underlined by this underscore element, which represents the uh, Ichi, uh, this concept of uh, one and oneness that underpins the uh, Rakuten uh, brand. 